Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. There are infinitely many prime numbers. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following fact regarding prime numbers. Suppose k is a positive integer such that k is greater than 1. Then, there exists a prime number that divides k. And another fact that we're going to use is the following. Suppose k is a positive integer. If k divides two consecutive integers, then k is equal to 1. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To prove it, let's assume for a contradiction, we instead have finitely many prime numbers. We'll say that p1, comma p2, comma dot dot dot, comma pn is a list of every prime number. From here, let's consider the quantity p1 times p2 times dot 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 times pn plus 1. We'll call that quantity n. Now, we know that a product of positive integers is also a positive integer. Add 1 to that, this tells us that m must be a positive integer greater than 1. So, we can apply our first fact to m. So, we have that there exists a prime number that divides m. And this is a list of every prime number. So the prime number that divides m must be somewhere in this list. So we'll call that prime number pi. But not only does pi divide m, but pi also divides the product of all prime numbers because pi is somewhere in this product. And since pi divides both the product of all prime numbers and the product of all prime numbers plus 1, we have that pi divides two consecutive integers. And since pi is a positive integer, our second fact tells us that pi must be equal to 1. But pi is a prime number and every prime number is greater than 1. So we have a contradiction. Our assumption that there are only finitely many prime numbers led us to a contradiction, so we must instead have that there are infinitely many prime numbers. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.